Hi, welcome to the Fire Mountain Gems and Beads Jewelry Making Studio. My name is Rose. Today I'm going to show you a fabulous polymer clay technique that anyone can do to enhance your designs, the zipper cane. Zipper canes combine intermesh stripes that look like the teeth on a zipper, hence the name zipper cane. Now this is a zipper cane. It looks really complex, but really it's just a lot of little steps and anyone can make a zipper cane. Use it any way you like. To make a zipper cane, start off with a thin sheet of black clay, cut it in half. Then take a thicker sheet of a contrasting color, your choice. This one's about, a, about twice as thick as the black. Just lay it directly on the black and make a sandwich. The other black clay on top. Now I'm gonna take this whole piece, run it through the polymer clay machine at a thick setting. Always check your setting before running things through. There we go. Now if you think that's too thick, I can run it again. I think we could go one step thinner. There we go. And I take that piece, cut it in half, and set it aside. Now I've already pre-made this block of stripes. It's just two different colors. I have them on the thickest setting, stacked up, and made a striped block. You could make them thicker or thinner if you like. We're gonna cut this block into even slices. Maybe about a quarter inch thick. And then those slices, because I am not perfect at cutting every one of those slices exactly the same, I'm going to run those through my polymer machine so that everyone is the same thickness. Make sure you put them through in this direction so your layers don't become distorted. I'm going to lay those on top of my sandwich. Putting white next to green very close together to make a perfect little sandwich there. white next to green, there we go, and put the other half of my sandwich on top. Now to make sure that's all merged together, we're gonna to roll that just gently with my vinyl roller. Make sure they're all in there together. You could roll it through your clay machine, but I think that makes it a little too thin. And believe it or not, that is a zipper cane right there. I'll prove it to you. Cut it in half. Pick it up, look at that, a zipper cane. Well, thanks for joining me for the zipper cane. Now you know how to make them. You can slice them thin and put them on a bead or slice them thick, make it into a border, wrap it around a bullseye cane. Let your imagination be your guide. Just play, have fun. You can find this technique and many others in this great book by Donna Cato. And you can find the book, the tools, the clay, all at firemountaingems.com. Thanks for joining me. Happy beating. Mm -hmm.